Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm digital planning for the week ahead on my iPad. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on digital planning, journaling, tips and tutorials. I am super excited to make today's video because this is my first sort of real time plan with me because I usually voice over my videos. But um, the reason is because I have a new goal to make real time plan with me videos. I've been watching Twitch streamers recently and I've been so inspired by the way that they play the game and chat at the same time. I find this quite challenging because um, my brain isn't good with words normally and to use my hands at the same time is like even more challenging for me. So next I'm going to grab a checklist sticker and these are basically a cute way to make a bullet point. So I'm going to grab this blue one. I would love to make a live digital planning video. I don't know if anybody would actually tune in to watch that because I know lives are usually for things like games. I guess another thing I would love to do is put myself on camera so I can make more like vlog type videos. I'm just going to go into my photos and open this up in a split screen and the quote I found was this. It says, be brave enough to be bad at something new. The reason I like this quote is because I think it's so easy to not want to do something because you think you might be bad at it. I would rather be bad at something and be brave enough to try it than never try it at all. Now let's go on to the weekly page. So I'm going to be planning for this week. First thing I'm going to do is put in the holiday stickers. So this is the holiday stickers pack that I just listed in the shop. So I'm just going to put in the ones for this week. Mother's Day in the UK is the 19th. So let's put that there. And then we have St. Patrick's Day. That is on the 17th, is that right? That is on the 17th. And then the next thing I'm going to do is set my top priorities for the week. So I want to post a YouTube video. I'm hoping to film this all today and then get this edited quite quickly. I always like to challenge myself to work quicker. I just find that if I'm too perfectionist about something, I actually enjoy the process less. My next priority is to pack and finalize for the trip. And then I'm going to write down my habits because I'm currently taking up running and I am really hoping that I can keep that up. It's like this app and it gives you like a structure for how many minutes you should run and rest. So tomorrow is going to be a rest day. So let's cross that out. Under settings, there is a draw and hold. So yeah, so if you turn that on, if you then draw and hold, it should snap straight. So then I run for two days and then rest on Thursday and then rest on Sunday. I'm just going to brain dump my entire like to-do list, everything that I want to get done this week into this space here. Last year I was mainly using this layout and I really liked the vertical layout. So this was my like go-to layout. It had enough space for me to like write down my to-do list and space to journal. But the one thing that I really missed having was like a big to-do list. That's why I switched this year to this layout. So for the to-do list, um, I'm just going to have a look at what I had planned at the beginning of the month. I actually wrote down most of my tasks down at the side. So glasses, I have done that. Get a different pen color. Um, let's go with oh, the indecision. Yeah, so glasses I have done. Currency, I haven't sorted out, so let's write that down. By the way, recently GoodNotes added this update where you can add more than three favorite color slots and I find this feature super useful because now you can fill up this entire bar. Sort out currency. And what else have we got? Printing, I did do that, so let's take that off. I haven't yet gone to the charity shop to drop off my donations, so we need to do that kind of threw everything at my suitcase, but it hasn't actually made its way into the suitcase. And then for these days, I'm going to just make a quick plan, like a quick outline of what I'm going to do. Film and edit. I don't know if I will get as far as editing. And this is probably the closest thing to a camera. So I'm just going to use this as my editing video sticker. I don't need this bit at the bottom, so I'm just going to crop that off. 
And then Tuesday, I want to post a short video to my Instagram and TikTok. Dan and I are trying to be a bit less workaholic as we're both getting older. So we do feel like it is the right time to focus on other things, things like focusing on our health and doing other things on our bucket list. When I'm planning, I'm always really optimistic. So I will say, oh, that day is for editing the video and then I will finish and then I will move on to other things. But what I find <laughs> is that when I actually come to doing things, like this one task will just dominate the entire week and I won't get to do anything else. But I think we can be optimistic. I have hope that I will be able to get on to maybe doing this task on Wednesday. Packing, I definitely need to pack. Maybe missing a checklist sticker? Yeah, let's grab those checklist stickers. Um, so I'm just turning off images so I don't lasso the sticker as well when I lasso the writing. And then let's put another checklist here. Um, let's move that first. This pencil tip makes it really like scratchy or maybe you would say it's like pen on paper sound. I know some people like it and some people hate it. So that's what it sounds like. If I'm basically delayed on these days, then my entire week is going to get pushed out. But I think we can maybe plan for doing some of these other things on Thursday. I don't tend to decorate my weekly pages that much, but I do want to add some, maybe some quote stickers. And let's go to, let's go over to Safari. So sometimes I will look for quotes and pick ones that speak to me that day. But today I know exactly what I want to put in my planner. It's like an affirmation. It says, I am capable of doing difficult things. And I really like that quote. By the way, there's like gale force winds outside my window. So if it sounds really noisy, that's why. Okay, so that took me way longer than I was expecting to find something suitable. Um, I think I'm going to use this one, but it's not quite the right color. So I've just saved that to my camera roll. And then I'm going to maybe lighten this up. Okay, so then I'm just going to drag that image into GoodNotes. And this is just a split screen. I'm just going to tap on the image and hopefully it will come in. I want to put like a washi tape on it so it looks like it's been stuck there. Okay, I like that. I can do hard things. So on Friday, I'm hoping to be able to post this video. Um, it's actually going pretty well so far. Like I feel like I've filmed most of the content for this video. Dan and I wanted to go around Cambridge Despite having lived here for ages, I don't actually know the city very well. I think that's the case when you live somewhere. Sometimes you actually know it less than a tourist. I don't know, or maybe that's just me. So for the notes section, I think I'm going to journal like what I'm currently um, watching and playing. I am looking for a sticker. So this one. Dan and I are currently watching the Netflix series called You, and it is really good. So I'm just going to journal that down. Okay, and then I'm going to copy it and paste it and change the color. So this is a trick that I like to do. Um, let's make it white. I don't know if that will work. Then I'm going to grab a game sticker and this is for what I'm currently playing. My other big hobby aside from like planning and making planners is cozy gaming. I like any game that's really relaxing. I like games where you're kind of just like running around, collecting things, building things. And at the moment I'm playing Disney Magical Kingdom on the 3DS. Um, I actually want to get Disney Dreamlight Valley. That is a game that I'm currently watching Twitch streamers play in terms of like non-TV stuff. Maybe this one because I'm watching on my laptop. So I'm just going to crop off the bits I want and... So I'm watching um, somebody called Cozy Games on Twitch. I really like her streams. One of the reasons I love digital planning is that I don't have to worry too much about the placement and color of things because if you don't like your first choice, you can always switch it up. 
give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I would love to hear some feedback on what you think about these real-time plan with me videos. Check out my other videos in the meantime. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.